We live. What's up, folks? Hey, so talk to me. I don't know how many people's in here. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, look, so what I'm doing today is I'm just making some mashed potatoes and gravy, right? Just going to go ahead and cook along with you guys. I know probably you guys already cooked this morning. Uh, for those of you guys that went to work, especially if you like Midwest, uh, down to the uh, East Coast, even at, at, at Southeast down that way, you guys are at home right now. You're probably looking at this thinking like I'm going to get ahead of the game, right? So if you are, I'm going to cook along with you. You guys can just take some time, hit me up, talk to me. I can answer questions and all of that. Hey, and thank you to everybody that uh, participated, you know, with your community tab post, right? I think the last one we did was what? Which one has to do with Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I put up some a couple of pictures of some things that I've cooked in the past. You know what I mean? So you guys have been telling me what you just would absolutely have to have. Uh, thanks for participating with that. And uh, I think right now, uh, what is that? Mac and cheese is like the front runner. And look, the ham came over the, uh, I was just looking at the percentages. Even people say more ham than they do turkey. That's because y'all ain't had my turkey yet. Hey, with that being said, being said, let's go. All right, folks. So, oh, look, I got this big, yeah, this big knife here. Let me see. Angelica Washington, what, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ah, uh, let this cat out the bag. In 10 years, I'd just say in five years, I see myself uh, with it, you know, like maybe like three restaurants in like, you know, three key states, you know what I mean, just to cover the region, places where people go and, uh, you know, like frequent. You know what I mean? Just making, you know, making some appearances, you know what I mean? Uh, teaching those, bringing people out to a school or something like that. You know, we're just to learn and learn in a comfortable environment with, you know, not so much as the culinary environment, but let's just have uh, that grandmama, you know, that, that, that grandmama feel in a learning, you know, facility. What's up, CJ? Hey, CJ, hey, you are, hey, you everywhere, man. Best dude in the world with, uh, with your support, man. And I don't want to call it support, man, because you just everywhere. You staying uh, in tune. Hey, I need to see you on this Christmas special, bro. So go ahead and get your ugly sweater. You know what I'm saying? And do all of that because we finna do something deep. I'm finna put a, uh, a wide lens on it. We finna get all of the old school all-stars. City show, how many minutes per pound when deep frying a turkey and what temperature? Mm, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good one. So for my temperature, now I'll just start with my temperature first. And I use it like somewhere between like I'm going to say like five to seven minutes. Uh, about five minutes is a good good point. You know what I mean? That's a good starting point right there. Uh, I don't like them big giant turkeys too. I know like a lot of people like to get them 23, 25, you know, something like that. I like them 20 and below. I'm going to say the sweet spot is like 17 to 20. And then for the temperature, I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know, we, we frying now. A good 375 is good. You know what I mean? It depends. Now, what are we doing? We doing a Cajun style, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a few variables with that. But you know, when we frying, we want to get a little heat in there. All right. King Ignit said, hey, A.B., what inspired you to give awesome ideas on cooking? Uh, hey, you know what? What inspired me is, you know what I mean, the smiles that I get on everybody's face and then you guys coming back, leaving comments. And just the fact that you took your time to watch this live and, you know, just leave a comment. That's, that's like just the inspiration. You know what I mean? Been cooking for a long time. Didn't even know I was really a, a decent cook, man, to tell you the truth. You know, I hear it from my family and, you know, my friends back when I was on the road. But uh, you know what? I just love the feedback. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I need that feedback. That give me that energy. Now, before you get to the next one, here's my potatoes. This is what I got going. You guys can see it right now. It looks like it's just now starting to kick off a little, a little steam. It's starting to boil. I started this prior to so that we don't be on here all day, right? What I did was I took my potatoes. They're all about this size right here. I peeled them, right? And then when I peeled them, I put them in a bowl with, you know, with some uh, water in there so they don't turn brown. Then I went ahead and I cut them. I want them all to be the same size so that they all be, you know, fork tender. When I say fork tender, I like to hit it with the toothpick so they can all be fork tender, you know, uh, soft. And that's what I got going on right here. And look, a pro tip is you guys want to, like, once you get everything cut, you've been staging it off to the side, when it come time to go ahead and boil your water, put it in here with cold water and let's bring it all up. Cold water or lukewarm water, uh, like room temperature water, that works too. You know what I mean? But you want to bring it all up together. Now we're starting to boil. All right. So I just wanted to show you what we started with. Mr. Axel says, do you have a video on how to carve a turkey? Do I have a video on how to carve a turkey? 
no, I don't think I made that one. You know what I mean? Uh, this is why sometimes I think I need to go to school myself. You know what I mean? Or I can just take a, about two, three hours and go to YouTube University, get that AA degree. You know, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get that degree first. You know, on carving. I went there to uh, actually learn how to do the chicken, though, for sure. Ah, uh, let me see what time it is, David. Oh, it's about that time, huh? You off work early? Did you take the rest of the week off? You getting ready for that uh, Thanksgiving? Cool, Keezy. I'm the same way, and you help me elevate. Huh? Cool, Keezy said, I'm the same way, but you help me elevate. Oh, uh, hey, anything that I can do, you know what I mean, that uh, helps somebody, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm down with you. The Urban Culture Kitchen with KC says, what's your favorite dishes to make? Uh, you must be new, because, you know, just about everybody been following me know my favorite dish to make is, uh, and I like for it to be made for me, too. I eat everybody's smothered pork chop, but that's it right there, smothered pork chop, you know what I mean, a lot of gravy. Oh, yeah, we, got a little, we still got a little ways to go. Yeah, so I just got home from work. I'm out for two days now. Ah. Well, David, I'm going to be able to see you in this podcast. We're about to do it uh, in a couple of hours, huh? I know you're going to be there. And, uh, hey, just so anybody, everybody know, you know what I mean? I got another channel. It's called the Grilling TV Network, right? Under the network, we do a podcast. It's with myself. and It's with Mr. Pat Neely from Down Home with the Neelys, right? What we talk about today, we're really going to talk about. Uh, we got a great chef on there. Her name is Chef Lorius. You guys might want to come in there and talk, you know, talk to her, you know, listen to what she got to share. Look, she's very, very energetic. You know what I mean? I don't want to say a whole lot. I don't want to, like, spoil it. But listen, this lady right here got the energy. And I think I'm going to have the luxury of having her uh, right here on the side of me. And we finna create. So check it out. That'll be at, uh, what, 430 Pacific Standard Time. All you got to look up is, uh, you can even put in Real Talk. Or you can put in, what, what's the other? Oh, Grilling TV Network. Any kind of way you do it, it'll just show up. You know what I mean? And I, if you guys want to participate, come talk to us there at 430 PST. All right. So look, this is about the to to uh get soft it's on his way uh we're gonna be doing a gravy i'll do the gravy last it's so easy you know what i mean uh and then you know what i just found this now this is in my kitchen and i'm trying to figure out like when did i buy that <laughs> you know what i mean but i like it this is the kind of stuff that everybody puts out really not kind of like my my vibe you know what i mean i'll be looking for something to say urban and something else but this is more of a traditional you know gravy you know that you put out for everybody so that says, what's your favorite thing to make with leftover turkey from that Thanksgiving? Minus turkey and dumplings. Minus turkey and dumplings, huh? Well, yeah. Hey, that's... <laughs> hey, you just changed up my idea. You know what I mean? Hey, I was just getting ready to do... We got that. Listen, because it's this time of the year, you know, late in the fall, beginning of this, you know, uh, coming up on the winter, you want to get all the, your, your soups, all of that stuff to stick to your ribs and warm you up and keep you right. Right, and chicken and dumplings is what I was gonna, was gonna make, but guess what? Because of you, we finna do turkey and dumplings. But for me, my favorite thing is uh, you guys gonna see Christmas more. I mean Christmas, Thanksgiving morning. Check this out. This is what we gonna do. I'm gonna drop a video. It's gonna be Thanksgiving leftovers, right? So while you guys are getting prepared and all that, kids running around doing their thing, you hollering at them. When you get that notification, check it out. I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. I'm gonna make some egg rolls with all of that. And if you wanna know, I'm gonna put uh, cranberry sauce in one of them too. Go figure. Sabrina the beans. Oh my God, burning question. With your southern green bean recipe, can it be done in a crock pot? I'm in charge of them this year. I think. Did I do? Yeah, you can. Is there any reason why you wouldn't do them? Uh, why wouldn't you do them on the stove? You know, uh, the stove give you a nice result. It's just like cooking this right here. How are we boiling down these uh, potatoes? It's almost the exact same way. But I start off with, for me, I start off with doing mine with the, uh, I do my my bacon. You know, I get that going, get the fat going down to the bottom. We start building them layers of flavor. Go ahead and cut that onion. I suggest getting a large onion. You know what I mean? That way, when you cut it, I probably like, instead of quartering it, I just like cut it into like six halves. You know, six individual pieces, put it in there and let it just fall apart. You know what I mean? I would start there. Uh, crock pot version, I mean, you can do it. You know what I mean? But it's still, we got to go ahead and still use a stove or or something like that so we can cook that bacon. That's where you're going to get that flavor from. Cat C says, can you mess up mashed potatoes? No, not that I, 
You know what? That, it's more mental than anything. Yeah, you can mess them up. And the only way I'm saying that is the worst thing you can do to me, I mean, due to uh, some mashed potatoes would be make them a little bit on the lumpy side. You know what I mean? Uh, or, oh, you know what? You can put too much liquid in the inside and then you can make it uh, a little bit on a runny. You know what I mean? But really, it's all about this right here. And then we got to taste as we go, folks. So once we add our, you know, our seasoning to it, that, mm. What's the most challenging thing you have to do? What's the most challenging thing? What? You know what? To be honest with you, it's like, like salmon is challenging to me. Don't, 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 don't know why. You know, when I look at it, man, I've seen, I just showed other people how to make it and they make it better than me. I think I worry too much the way the heat is on the bottom. And because you can see the flesh on the side, I watch it. I'm just trying to get it perfect. You know what I mean? And then do my flip. So uh, I'm, I need to take heed to what I tell all of you guys. Listen, heat and low and slow is your best, right? So you just want to cook it with a low flame. You know what I mean? Just enough. If it, once you got a medium flame, just back it down a little bit and then let it come up, you know, nice and smooth. But that's that, that's a tough challenge for me. Oh, Man, if you put it in a slow cooker, it's a small bird. Hopefully you got two so you can make two. Uh, Instapot, I don't use an Instapot, which I'm going to, you know, you know what, some people gave me a few of them last year, you know what I mean, bless their heart. You know, I gave them out to people that really, really needed them. You know what I mean? Uh, so I don't want to say that was like re-gifting. You know, I told all the people that gave it to me and they were, you know, good with it, you know, just to help out. Uh, but I'm going to get into the Instapot. You know why I don't get into it? Because, man, I can't let go of my slow cooker. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm broke from that. Hey, when you talk pressure cooker, I got the old school one. It's from my mama. And that's about one of the last things I got from her. And I don't even want to use it. Not even on my channel. But it looked like it's made out of pot metal. You know what I mean? It's got this top. You put it down like this. It's got these little grooves on it. It takes two people to close it. Then it's got this little thing on the top that be shaking and make everybody scared to come in the kitchen. You know what I mean? So I'm old school like that. But uh, Instapot is coming. David said, to let you know, I did a smoke cam last night with the pellets we had at Thanksgiving dinner at work. Today. Oh, so I know that was fire. Smoking it. Got to base it a lot. Oh. Uh oh, folks. Whew. I think we're looking good. Little SS, do you like to stuff your turkey with stuffing or just sever stuffing on the side? I like mine in a dish out there, you know, for everybody to pull from. Uh, that's more so for like, I don't, I don't know. You know what? I just don't. <laughs> I don't ever do that. And I said I was going to do it this year. So look, look out for it next year. I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Definitely going to do it. I just want to get it and get the best picture I can. You know what I mean? And that might that might be following. <clears throat> that might be in the cookbook. I don't know. We just we just talking on. Hey, that's hypothetical. It's the Kuma says, I like mashed potato turkey and gravy sandwiches. Oh, don't get me started. Hey, do me a favor. Throw me all. Uh, where's that bag at? With the bread. Check this out. Check this out. Toss it. Come on. Oh, you finally threw one right. I'm glad it didn't hit me in my jaw. Sometimes I'm like this and it go, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> hey, look, I got my bread ready. A nice, decent, uh, thick slice. I'm getting ready for it. Eugenia Butler says, hello, all. Is a podcast on Food Network? Ooh. Uh, not yet. I'll just say that. Not yet. Don't really get a whole lot of views on it, you know what I mean? Because we just been doing it the way we're doing it. Season three is going to be nice. It's on my uh, on another YouTube channel. And don't forget, it's with myself. I got a co-host. His name is Pat Neely. Hey, listen, you want to talk about energy? He got it, folks. What is the best turkey stuffing recipe? I don't like the recipes you have in Italy. Oh, in Italy? Hey, well, you know what? It'd be great for you to make. I don't know how they make it in Italy, but. I would just suggest you take a look at, uh, I have several, you know what I mean? Cornbread, made them out of bread. I just leveled it up, made one out of uh, French bread. And I did like a, a, a dark brown, uh, like out of wheat. So if you guys look at it, I guess the thumbnail is not the best. You know what I mean? I don't know how to like capture it like that, but I can cook it. I can just tell you this, that's a level up. And that's really like the one I just put out is more like a, like a, if you, if I had to put any word on it, I'd put it like, that's, that's like a gourmet, a gourmet dressing. 
gourmet stuffing. Kiki Larry says, I would like to know how can I bake a ham just using a few pieces of ham and not a whole spiral? I want the brown sugar ham without baking. Oh, that's simple. When you buy the ham, if it's, if it's spiral, I'm sure it's not. It's already cured and everything and cooked. You know what I mean? So all you got to do is just get you a smaller type of a real simple. Get you something like a Dutch oven, right? Or get yourself a pot that's oven safe. Do the same thing. That, you know, follow my video. Do the exact same thing and just go ahead and just keep basting it. That's all you got to do. The challenge is going to be is if you only got a few slices, you're not going to be able to stand it up vertical. So at the end, when it comes time to, you know, put it in the, in the oven and you want to broil it, you know, you're going to be covering all your meat. So just lay them down like cards, put it over the top. Make sure you're looking down here so you can see inside of there. Real simple. Andre Boto says, any food truck prospects in the future? What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish to make? Man, you must. Hey, I feel like you are, you, you are, you're on my bumper. Food truck. Look, I'm going to be showing everybody what's, what's in the mix. Uh, I get out of here Sunday night on the 27th. Uh, the 28th, I'm going live. You guys will be able to see something new. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, look, it's just a mini of chapters from this. And hopefully you guys see something. Because I know, look, YouTube ain't everybody's journey. If somebody would have told me YouTube was my journey, I would have, we'd have been fighting. Oh, these are what I was looking for. We would have been fighting. But uh, YouTube happened to, you know, it was my catalyst to get me started with all of the things I want to do, you know, around culinary, you know, around the culinary art. So you guys are going to get a chance to check it all out. Like I said, on the 28th, sometime that day. Or whenever I get out that way, I'm gonna make an announcement, and you guys are gonna get a chance to see what's happening. I can all I can tell you is 2023 is gonna be huge. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take them off. I already took this. Uh, I didn't turn this off, right? So I gotta. Hey, let me just be real with y'all. I ain't got no calendar in here. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working with. I gotta get everything out of here into this, right? So I'm trying to catch potatoes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Get them here and get them, you know, just in here. You know what I mean? Because I don't have a collar. Most of you guys know already, you know, I moved my whole operation to uh, Vegas. You know what I mean? So my staff here, they didn't have took everything out of here. You know what I mean? So we looking around here like, hey, where's the knife at? Did anybody, hey, where the napkins? We, we, we struggling. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead. I'm going to drain these. I can hear the questions and I'll just answer them. I can do the beginning You can. You can. That will work. Uh, at this point of the game, fresh. <laughs> hey, hey, it's two days till. Hey, you know when you when you put it down on the counter, it sounds like a bowling ball. So if you got a a, a frozen one now, we I guess he's gonna be in a hot bath for the next fifteen to twenty hours. Mm -hmm. So fresh, man. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. That's what's up, man. That right there is what's up. Um, MCC, do you ever make seafood stuff? No, you know what? When I hear that kind of right off the back, I think of somebody, right? You know, when you say seafood stuffing, I'm going to think that's more so uh, my compadre. That's Matt. You know what I mean? I got, I got Matt doing it. Kiki plus Mukbang and Vlog says, when do you start prepping your Thanksgiving dinner? Oh. Uh, I just, you know what, as early as possible, you know what I mean? Uh, it depends how many people you got just going to be helping you with the, you know, with your food. But I say uh, at least three days, three days, like, like you should have started yesterday just to be comfortable. You know what I mean? Now, I just want to ask you guys, let me know what you cook. You know, what I want to know is what do you cook on the day of? I know that's when you start your turkey. You know, uh, what else? I just want to know what you guys do. What about your pies? Tiger Ty says, 
It depends on what fa- flavor profile you want. I really can't answer that. You got to tell me what you like. For me, I do I do everything. My tongue, my palate love everything, you know, like Creole or Cajun. A good Creole, a good Creole uh, seasoning, you know what I mean? Uh, that's great. You know what I mean? If I'm just, if, if everybody is coming, it's not really like in the tune of that and they probably tired of me doing it. You know what I mean? So I'll alternate some some months. I mean, some years just, you know, Cajun. The next one, you know, I use my A my A seasoning. You know, I got a, a good poultry seasoning that's got a nice blend for you. You know, but really, to be honest with you, that's uh whatever you guys like. That's that's really up to you. But if you eat in my pad, check it out. This year, you know what we're doing. It's Cajun, baby. Sharon Nicole said, any famous chef inspire you? Uh yes. Uh, yes. His name is, uh, G Garvin, just like everything about your cat. You know what I mean? So I used to think like when I hear people say they inspired by somebody, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like my mama was my inspiration. You know what I mean? I just saw what my mama did, but when it come to cooking, I was just able to identify when I saw G Garvin, it was like me looking in the mirror. I'm like, man, I just saw me when he was talking, when he was out there doing this thing, you know what I mean? So, Hey G, if you're out there and you're listening, Hey, let's hook up, bro. Rodney Pete says, hey, V, are you also having your podcast tonight? Yes, sir. Hey, Rodney Pete. Brian Berger, have you ever considered roasting the goose? Uh, no, I have not. You know what I mean? Uh, am I, I like some of the, you know, gamey type birds, but I don't know if I'm a, I have never thought about doing it myself. I've been to a couple of high-end restaurants before and had, you know, some cool duck. You know what I mean? And that was good. But for me, uh, my palate, I probably need to eat it a little bit more. I don't want to tear nothing up. You know, just being honest with you. You know, uh, but, you know, how do we get better? We buy it, we rub it, we cook it, we eat it, and we repeat, right? All right. Sheila Blalock says, do you ever make your collard greens with turkey tails? Also, do you invite regular people on your sh- on your show to showcase their talent? Oh, boy, you, I swear, it got to be something in here that's giving off my trade secrets. Listen, now you asked that? Yes, that's uh 2023. Stay with me, you know what I mean? But I'm in Vegas, you know? Everybody goes to Vegas, so everybody will get a chance. You know what I mean? Uh, we got some big things, you know, coming. I don't want to let too much out, you know what I mean? I'd rather just show the back end of the cat out of the bag, you know? But other than that, uh, to answer your question, I'm going to just say yes for the future, and I would love for people to come in. Oh, by the way, if you guys saw a community tab, uh, tab post today, I showcased uh, somebody took the time to send me their bird, right? They sent their uh, turkey, and check this out. They brined the turkey, took the time to come back and show me the picture of the brine, and I just went ahead and, you know, made sure I asked. You know, but I put the whole thing to what they said on the uh, in the community tab so you guys can read it. Now, when you guys are out here cooking for uh, Thanksgiving, I know everybody cooking today, tomorrow, you know what I mean? So if you got one item you want to showcase, you know, while you're cooking, that's great. If you want to wait till Thursday, you know what I mean? When, you, when, when y'all put out the spread before all the people get there and all the little hands be like, ooh, 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 you know, before they do all that, take a picture of your spread, right? Remember, it's a spread or one sheet that you say, this is going to get them. And I want you guys to send it to my email, right? Once you uh, do that, uh, I'm going to just look at them throughout Thanksgiving. I'm going to just get them and just start posting them up. You know what I mean? Just showing people. You know what I mean? So pull pull out all the stops. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. And you can tag us on IG. I'm going to be looking for that. I'm going to be kind of like kicked back with my feet up. You know what I mean? My wife is uh, cooking uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Matter of fact, uh, baby, I, you might be in here right now. You know what I mean? Or, or she might be in golf. Man, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw somebody walk by. <laughs> I'm like, hey you, hey, you about to see it go down live. Like, oh, you like AB left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He left the ladies. Now, you know I don't get down like that. You'd be like, AB pulling something big. You know? <laughs> All right. So, Eric Victoria says, can you baste a turkey three days before Thanksgiving? What, what do you mean? Uh, base. Or you mean brine? Yeah, but I'm, I'm asking them for some clarity. All right. <clears throat> So while I'm over here talking, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to make, yeah, I'll do it out of this. I'm going to make myself a little something to go ahead and mix in here, right? 
So look, these are still hot. But before I turn this on, I'm gonna move this down here. Let me just go ahead. What I'm gonna do is make just like a little bit of sauce. We're gonna put some garlic in here, you know, some butter. You know, we're gonna use this heavy whipping cream, just a little bit, because we're gonna take that and put it in there. We just wanna make it a little bit on the creamy side, right? So let me go ahead and get this started. Sean Ryan says, watch your brine video before. How long did you brine a 26 pound trick? Just send it probably 24 hours. I don't know if it even needs that. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's still a big bird. Once you put it in that bucket, you know what you're going to be brining in or whatever you're using. I'm going to say I would like to at least go 12 to 16 hours. So if you did it, you know, like in the in the afternoon on, on today, you know what I mean? Just when you get up tomorrow or you make sure you got at least 16 hours on it. I think that'll do it. Make sure you guys put it somewhere where it's cool. You know what I mean? Like I said, I like to use buckets because when you use a bucket, you can put that top on there. I'll put it in the garage because right now, this time of the year, everything is cold, especially in the garage. How would they make beef sage sausage? I would have to really make sure I understand what you're asking. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. You know what? Never never made it, nor do I really know what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess that's to, like taking some sausage, you know, seasoning it up, making sure we maybe put some more, uh, being a little bit heavy on the uh, sage. Jose Munoz says, would you prefer smoking a turkey and tell it grow long slow or deep frying or oven? Oh, uh, how would I prefer it? I like it both ways. I guess I'm more partial to deep frying. You know what I mean? But I do it old school. Uh, now they got that new butterball machine where you can, uh, you know, uh, deep fry in the house much, much safer. But for me, I do it outside. And I know this question probably come up too. A lot of people ask me, like, when I deep fry, can you uh, inject? Yes, you can. You know what I mean? Just make sure when you come out of I brine and I inject, you know what I mean, sometimes. It depends on if I'm looking for a specific flavor. You know what I mean? But just brining it should just be enough and then just make sure you pat it dry and deep fry. So if I had to go, that's the 1A. And then the smoker, everybody just says it depends on what your preferred taste is. You know what I mean? But growing up in my house, everybody used to having stuff smoked. You know what I mean? Uh, so sometimes I kind of like lean away from it. You know what I mean? It's just a good, crispy skin, you know, deep fried turkey that's been brined, works. Sarah Nicole, would you ever go on a cooking show like Deep Father's Life? Oh, uh, let me just, let me, yeah, I would. I mean, yeah, I would love uh, Bobby Flay too. You guys just asked me who my inspirations was, you know what I mean, who inspired me. You know what I mean? So I'm going to tell you that. I told you already that was uh, G. Garvin. But I like Bobby Flay's. I like his story, too. Kevin Van Lee says, mac and cheese, what am I doing wrong with my cheese sauce in the middle of Oh, I just want to know. Okay, so if you're freestyling it, there can be a couple of things wrong. Uh, one is, once we get it hot, we don't want to overcook it. We want to be ready for it. Uh, two is, listen to this. You got to add a little bit of cheese in at a time. That's what kill people. They try to put a lot of cheese in there. You don't fully get it to melt and integrate in with everything else. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit at a time. That's mostly what everybody does. You know, that's their problem when they make it. Page with something you've never cooked that would challenge you? Uh, don't really know the name of it, but it seemed to be kind of easy, but it looked like it was a little tricky. And that's to make that, uh, I don't even know the name of it. It's like a, a Spanish dish. It's got clams in it. You know what I mean? Uh, isn't it something paleo or something? You know what I mean? Uh, not really sure the name, but some of them dishes, man, that, that, they, they, that they make overseas, you know what I mean? That is like staples and easy for them. You know what I mean? I don't know if they would even be that challenging if I just took the time to really like just dissect what they're doing. Okay. okay. Sorry, no, what is your preference on types of grills? Uh, 
hands down, I like offset smokers. You know what I mean? When you talk about grill, it depends on who you are. Like if you just, if you're the weekend warrior, there's nothing wrong with having a Weber kettle grill. And there's tons of videos out there to show people how to use them. You know what I mean? Uh, I like the Weber kettle. You guys will probably see how much I like it soon. Right here on the other side of this wall is uh, Aaron Franklin's offset. I waited two years to get it and got it and never took it out of the box. This right here on the other side of the wall. This is leaving out of here at the end of this month, you know, going to where I'll be smoking at. You know, everybody knows it's at my pad. You know what I mean? So I'm bringing back. And what you guys won't know is I'll probably do little skits or whatever, just letting you guys know, like little reels that I am barbecuing or, you know, smoking meat or whatever. But I'm getting mine out the way because now I live in Vegas. I thought I was going to be already, you know, smoking out that way. But let me just tell you this about Vegas. Everybody know it's hot. You don't know nothing until you've been there. You know what I mean? Because I done woke up one morning on a, on a Sunday morning and at, uh, I'm going to say it was 8 o'clock. And, man, it was already 90-something degrees. You know, in the morning I was like, well, we won't be grilling nothing today. You know what I mean? So I'm getting mine out of the way and starting now. You know what I mean? Until I till it start raining. You know what I mean? So I'm going to have tons of videos and I'm going to get out here and just do me. You know, teach people, man. Queuing, smoking, all of that is not as hard as everybody makes it seem. And having a pellet grill, I love it. All right. Huh? Oh, okay. That. That's it right there. <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, Sharon Nicole, besides cooking, what would be your number one passion? Besides cooking? Oh, that's an easy one. Uh, just to know me, anybody that's friends with me, or even some people that don't know, I love drag racing. That's it. I live for that quarter mile. You guys, you guys want to know, I take half of this channel, and they keep me in the game. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little... You know, minced garlic. I just turned it up. Didn't want to burn nothing. So then I'm going to go ahead and start adding a little bit of more. Uh, I'm going to start adding my my thickening agent. No, my cream. Cute says, for a 26-pound turkey, do I double the burn? No, you good. Because oh. I'm going uh, to set something up for you in just one second. Okay. What would you say? Q Beauty, for a 26 pound turkey, do I double the brine? For 26? Yeah, I would say double it. Uh, are you putting it in one of them uh, plastic, what is that? Are you putting it in one of those plastic uh, containers or are you going to put it in a bucket? If you're going to put it in a bucket, I think you'll be fine. Michael Salmon says, how much garlic? Right now, what, how much garlic am I using? Uh, those These are kind of big. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to, I don't know. I'll say three to four. You know what I mean? It depends on how much you put in there. I'm just making this for you guys. I got to get on the road tonight, get to Vegas, and then uh, help my wifey out in the kitchen. If she let me help, I got to let you know. When she's in the kitchen, she don't really like all of that. But I say these are going to be garlic mad. So, And you can see how big these clothes are. Look, three to four decent sized ones. You know? Uh, as far as my kids go, you know, they like kind of like doing their thing. So I'm in the military. You know what I mean? Uh, really. And look, the kind of job that I had, I didn't, I wasn't at home like that to always cook. I was just out, you know, trying to get my provide on. You know what I mean? So, are they inspired by that? I'm going to say no. DV underscore 21, what's your go-to car if you're drag racing? Oh, uh, <laughs> like a 67 Nova. You know what I mean? Something with a pro charger on the front. Hey, don't get me. Hey, you, you'll have me you'll have me tearing up something. So, look, let me go ahead and do this. Let me take this off. Let me bring my mixer over here. I'm over here talking. Hey, I'm enjoying the conversation. Truly, I am. Hey, how many people in here right now? Anybody in here uh, cooking? All right. Let me get on the yeah, other. There you go. Keep this out right here. Normally, if I wasn't out here running my mouth, you know what I mean? I would have had this already, you know, mashed and blended up a little bit. Well, Sparka says, what's your advice for a rib roast? Ah. Uh, 
<laughs> hey, I hate to say it that way. But look, the way I've been doing it for years, I just made it available to you guys. That's my B-Rub. You know what I mean? Uh, that right there is is fire. But there's so many people that make good rubs. You know what I mean? Uh, Malcolm have a good rub from How to Barbecue, right? All right. Looking at the time, huh? Let's go. We already up. We still got a nice little heat. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on right now. Remember, you always want to start slow. Have you ever tried to put a little cream cheese in your mashed potatoes? Cream cheese? No, but I put sour cream in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding, you know, just my little mixture here. Yeah, that's it. Cream cheese, huh? I like that. Was cooking always the thing to, like, to uh, it was a little bit different when I was, you know, when I was a kid, you know, because mama made you cook. You know, what I mean, if I wanted to eat, mama was, you know, working. Right. So as she was working, you know what I mean? Uh, I had to eat. And then my mama found out, oh, he learned. So then my mama started giving me recipes and telling me this is what I want to have on Wednesday. And something you guys don't know, I make a mean iced tea, folks. All right. Just put this here. Let's bring this back up. William Brown says, I'm frying a Hmm? I like the cherry wood. Or you can go to uh, the website. You can go to, uh... oh, just taking a look at that. I'm sorry. I'm coming back to it. Start to get in that cook mode now. You know, you know what I mean? Okay, so look, you can go to smoking and grilling with AB, you know, dot com. You know what I mean? Just go to uh, the store page. You guys will see it. Click on the link and then uh, you can go from there. Oh, yeah, this is coming together nice. Now, before I get in here and really start getting it going, I'm going to go ahead and start adding. So this is my onion. So, J.E.B. says, have there been any dishes that you haven't mastered like your mom made? Uh, hey, I'll tell you guys something like <laughs> making gravy. That was something I hadn't mastered, you know, until uh, until my wife got me going. My wife, I guess she was hand, was, I was handed off to my wife. That's where I learned that from. But I would, uh... No, that's a good question. Hey, to be fair, just anything I cook that I learned from my grandma and my mama, I don't have it mastered like them. You know what I mean? You know why? Because she could cook like how I'm cooking now, and it turned out great. You know what I mean? So a lot of times when I'm cooking things that I grew up with, I got to try to remember what it was. Not just that. I got to get come up with the measurements just to even put it in there so you guys can have it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's hard for me to tell somebody like, hey, just a dash of this. You know, put... 20 shakes of this in there. So James Washington says, are you really going to do this to ice tea recipe? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, that's the plug, huh? Nice. There we go. Now, I want to ask you guys, how smooth do you like your mashed potatoes? To be honest with you, this is going to sound crazy to y'all. I don't really do I can't do this like on, on a holiday. You know what I mean? But. I like mine. I like mine a little on the lumpy side. I don't mind when I go in there and I catch a, a nice little mm, something to bite on, you know? Uh, this ain't working, folks. This, uh. It's getting so thick, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. This uh, 
my spatula kind of like comes out. No, we do. Oh yeah, let me get it. Oh, oh, provided by Charlie Ann. She like this. This is almost like cooking. I mean, like bacon. Right, right. Yeah. Says, I like my potatoes lumpy with the skin on. Mm. Yeah. Now, now, hey, now we talking. I could, mm. I could tell you this. If you at my pad though, they are gonna have the skin on there. Dominica says I'm following from Italy. I'm making Thanksgiving recipes. I love you. Can you say hi to me and my family? What's your name? John Machico. John Machico said it. All right, John, John Machico. Hey, that's what's up. You know what? I love the fact that YouTube has this kind of reach. I mean, listen, man, I'm from to know where I come from and, you know, how I'm raised, how else would, how else would myself and you be put together, you know what I mean, in this type of environment. You know what I mean? Without YouTube, we wouldn't even have this. You know, uh, that right there, that's, that's special. Uh, I wish I knew something I could say in your language, you know what I mean? But there you go. <laughs> So I guess one of the questions I'd ask you guys is like, how do you guys make yours and what do you make your uh, potatoes out of, your mashed potatoes out of? Out of? My favorite, uh, and it, yeah, as you can see, it don't take much, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do them like that too. You know what I mean? Uh, but just being honest with you, I'm going to be going out of here for a few days. You know what I mean? Uh, all of that evaporated milk and all that stuff is at my pad you know what i mean so i'll be able to put you know put out some more content it, no not even that i'll be able to cook at the house you know auto tech d said i'm gonna make the ham uh, i'm gonna make the yam hey the yam fire huh so look the killer part about the yams is you making them in a pot and therefore you don't have to you don't have to uh free up if you make them on the stove, you can free up your oven. That's really, really the key. Check it out. This is the best part right here. Anybody want to know what the best part it is? Oh, yeah. No, we got to, we got to go back in there. All right. John Legico said, thank you. You're the best. But I'm a baby. Oh, man. Hey, don't be in here trying to make me show my soft side. You know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> Let's take this out. I don't need to. Paris Rome says not a be taking the mystery out of cooking. Oh yeah, that's that's me. Hey, I know we like to use that fine salt. I don't know why I don't ever buy it. I like the coarse grind, uh, you know, uh coarse ground kosher salt. You see me, I got to give it a you know a few pinches of salt, you know what I mean? And uh, we just gonna stir this up, get this going. Yeah, these is right, they ready. Hey, they, these right here to me are screaming. They want some gravy on them. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, come on. I can do it like this. Jazzy Bay Lock says, Hey, B, I'm making your southern dressing as you Oh. Hmm. Sweet Liz says, Do you play any games like Xbox or something like that? Oh, for sure. I'm a, hey, I'm your guy. Hey, you know, I haven't been on the game as much as I would like to be. Uh, in between me making these videos, though, do I, I do spend a lot of time on the uh, PC, though, playing a game called Heroes of the Storm. I tried to catch it. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. Hey, for sure. Hey, you, you're welcome on that. You know, hey, be careful because any other anybody else hit it, they're gonna fall in love with you too. You know what I mean? Make sure you make sure your relationship is rock solid. Damn, I I want to go back in here and get me some more. This right here is all right. All right. Jim says I like my taters anyway. AB wants to Hey, well, here you go. Who who's that from, Jim? Jim. All right. <clears throat> so try to get these out. 
I'm like, I'm like, yeah, there we go. David Henry, I have a question. I got three sweet potatoes. How do you cook them or bake them? All right, so David, I'm gonna save that one for you because me and you gonna have something real special tonight at 4:30, bro. I know where I'm gonna be able to find you. And you know what? We're gonna talk sweet potato. Anybody else want to get inside of that, inside of this conversation? You guys come and see us. Don't forget, we're gonna be on grilling on the grilling TV network. Right? Right here on YouTube. Just look it up. You guys can dance it up, pretty it up, and do all that. But I'm finna make a nice indentation right there. And we're finna put some of that all, uh, some of that gravy in the inside. 1997 Keith said, tearing up your buffalo chicken egg rolls right now. Amazing at um, recipe. <sighs> Man, why you say that? Because listen, we hungry over here. But thank you. You know what? Uh, Robin Eileen said, are you going to do a segment on what to make with leftovers? Yes, it's going to be launching. Uh, I'm a, yeah, launching Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I'll take the top back. All right, thank you. Now for the easy part, the gravy. All of it is easy. You know, I just made a few. I think I only did like, how many uh, potatoes was this? this? This wasn't that many. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of these chives on here right now. Yeah. Cusco Bud 907, shout out from Alaska. We're making your French toast casserole this weekend. Oh, Josh, hey. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna join you. That French toast casserole, a lot of people said, you know, I read some of the comments, they was like, hey, this is almost like a bread pudding almost but better you know what i mean uh it had been a little bit more i guess loose or something if it was a pudding but that right there that's fire and then uh after you do that you got to try the the peach cobbler uh french toast those that right there was fire too didn't get a lot of love you know what i mean and then when it comes to youtube you guys got to give everybody a chance if you like the subject especially if it's somebody that you like look at it because all of us can't take pictures of it the way uh you know, like we can't just take them pictures, those immaculate pictures. And I know that YouTube, we eat with our eyes, right? So when you look at it, if it don't look good, you move on. And uh, I had to quit doing that too, because I see some people out here making some fire stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know it's fire until after I get into the video. You know what I mean? Now, that's for me. We are watching you from Africa, Ethiopia. Africa, man, you look at your reach. Where are we at right now? We. Hey, that's the motherland, though. That's the motherland. I just put that right there, you know what I mean, and just let that go. It's starting to cool, but that's okay, because after I hit it on the top with this gravy, you know what I mean, uh, you guys will get a chance to check it out. But that right there, look, and I just used some chives, you know what I mean? Uh, mm, that, hey, that's seasoned to perfect, though. Bailey, any tips on it for a person using a smoker for the first time? Ah. Uh, yeah, first time I got your first cook. You can do two things. One of them is going to scare you. Another one you're going to think is real easy. I'll start with the scariest first. Get yourself a pork shoulder, you know, a pork butt, you know what I mean, whatever you want to call it. I want you to get one of those. You know what I mean? You start there. It is very, very unforgiving. No, excuse me. It is very, very forgiving. You know what I mean? You almost can't even do it wrong. You know what I mean? Hey, we're going to put some time on it. We're going to go about eight to ten hours. We're going to do it at – depends on how big your pellet grill is. You know what I mean? Uh if you got a decent size hopper on the back, if you can go 10 hours, just go 10 hours. We're going to do it low and slow. You know what I mean? Put a pan, you know, just put it in the uh, pan. Don't even try to wrap. That's going to be your first assignment. When you get that done, you're going to come back. You're going to follow me. You're going to talk on every one of my videos till you draw my attention, and then we're going to talk about it. You know what I mean? So tag me on IG. Uh, send me an email. That would probably be the best. Send me an email. That would be the scariest way because you're looking at that like that's too big of a meat. But that right there is going to be excellent for you. And then the other part you'll say was easy would be uh, I would just start with some wings. You know what I mean? Put that uh, that whatever type of pellet, you know, flavor you want to put in there. Do them like that. Flip them a few times. You know what I mean? And uh, go from there. Wings or the pork shoulder, pork butt. All right. Oh. Tiger Ty, I wanted to know what ideas do you recommend to cook a ham for the first time? One more time. Tiger Tiger wanted to know what ideas do you recommend to cook a ham for the first time? Oh, my honey glaze, hands down. Hey, ha hey, hands down. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you could probably look in the comments in here and they'll tell you, hey, super easy. Because look, if you bought a ham, 
is already cooked, more than likely. So, Pop-Tart's on trucking with these ladies. Oh. He said, hey, y'all, AB and the ladies. I'm curious, in Vegas, is the stratosphere on top of the skyscraper? Have you been out on that? Oh, you're talking about riding that ride on the top of there? Now, I do a lot of things. You know what I mean? I can go zero to 200 real fast. That don't bother me, but I don't know if I want to be on top of the stratosphere getting on one of them roller coasters or they got something else to, like, swing you over. No, sir. You know what I mean? Uh, Pop Chart, you got to let me know when you're out there so we can, uh, so we can, you know, hook up. And we got to meet. Hey, great supporter. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know what you haul into Vegas, but you in Vegas. I mean, you, you in Vegas so much, let me talk to your language. I know you got a dedicated run. So talk to me. I can ask you this, and this will let you know how much I know about Vegas and trucking. I don't know, but if you got a dedicated run, you probably work for a company or something like that. Back when I was doing it, if we wanted to haul something out of there, you got to haul drywall. Everything comes into Vegas, but the only thing that comes out of there is drywall. You know what I mean? Grace Foundation, currently restoring a vertical smoker. Any recommendations? Restoring it? No, a, ver a vertical smoker? I'd have to, like, so it's not an offset. So look, this is what I'm doing, folks. I'm trying to talk and, you know, go from the, you know, and answer these questions and cook. All right. So look, I'm just starting off with three tablespoons of butter, right? Then I'm going to use my little cheat code. Check it out. That's my garlic infused by Branch and Vine, right? I'm going to just go ahead and just put a little bit in here because we want to make sure that I'm not running my mouth and I don't burn this, uh, <laughs> make sure I don't burn, <laughs> I don't burn this thing, this butter. All right. What about brisket? Can I make it in the oven? Yes, you can. And if you give me two weeks, I'm going to have a video out for you. I just got to get past the, these holidays. I got to give myself a break. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of a break. You know what I mean? And then we're going to go. I'm going to do one in the oven. The question should be, do you trim your brisket in the oven the same way you do when you put them in the smoker? 831 stop boy. A-O-G. I just had my daughter a couple of days ago because me and my lady watch you a lot, and I wanted to know if you can give my baby girl Kalini G a shout-out. Hey, how old is your, your baby girl? We finna timestamp this one. Need to know how, how old she is. Like, how many days? You know what I mean? We finna, we finna seal it and keep it, uh, get a record on it. So when she get old enough to look at it, she might look up and say, hey, daddy, that's the dude that said my name that's right here in Walmart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or better yet, maybe he got the building next to Walmart. It go Walmart, Sam's Club, and AB's World. She's 55 hours old. Oh, oh, it's so special. Hey, y'all trying to make me feel some kind of way. I feel that, but hey, you're not finna see no tears from me. Hey, you know, uh, what's her name? Kailani. Kailani G. Kailani, yes. Kailani, let me just say this. Happy birthday. I'm about, what you say, 55 hours? You 55 hours into the game. Hey, wish you the best of luck. You know what I mean? Uh, bless your family. Bless you. You know what I mean? And uh, once you find out what's happening, your family going to show this to you. Hey, you got to come back and say hello to everybody. Hey, happy birthday. Pop says, I'll let you know when you come back to Vegas. Make sure you got some pizza. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Tell her don't show up last minute. <laughs> Tell her don't don't show up. Hey, Pop Tart, don't show up five hours out talking about let me get some brisket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. Now you know you had that route. You know you here every whatever day. Give me some time. You know what I mean? And hey, we finna do that. He said much love, OG. Thank you. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's how cool is that, man? All right. Finna kick it up. Now we about to create some gravy. <laughs> Got three tablespoons of butter in here, right? So Tiger Pie, what would be, would a chili honey be a good glaze for a ham? A chili honey? <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys are just as creative as myself. Uh, I like just hearing that. Hey, let me ask, let me ask y'all. We didn't save no measuring cups here? No measuring spoons? No, they are? Oh, okay. Ah. This is what I've been reduced to, folks. The plastics. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now I got to do math. Oh, one tablespoon. Okay. A quarter cup. No, we good. All right. I do. I got a Roddy. You guys about to see him. You know what I mean? Uh, what you clapping for? <laughs> huh? No, I, you, she clapping. Because this the dog. She asked me every day. 
hey, can I bring my dog here? I'm like, hey, I got it. This ain't that type of gig. And I'll say it like this. I'm going to keep it real, folks. I'm like, hey, obviously I'm black. We can't just be having dogs in the kitchen like that. You know what I'm saying? You know that whole thing? Hey, who made the potato salad? They like, if AB made it, I don't, I don't know. He got dogs. <laughs> yeah, he got dogs. He got dogs in the video. All right. Okay, folks, so let me go ahead and start adding. <laughs> that do say tables move, right? Yeah, okay. There we go. So I'll start adding my, adding that in here. Man, quit laughing. Is there anything I can do to really level up your creamy mac and cheese recipe to show up for the family favorite? Uh, there are several things you can do. I just want to know, do you eat pork? Because if you eat pork, guess what? We can always add some ham to it. You know what I mean? Some bacon in there. You can, you know, start off by making that uh bacon fat. You know what I mean? Frying your bacon. There's, there's a few things we can do. Winston Photos said, Alan here from Albuquerque, and a shout out from Landon Enchantment. Before I still talking about the Creole cornbread I made for your channel. One love. Hey, they, they sleeping on it. Lavita B says, You're the goat in this cooking world. I'm a small chef and licensed baker. Oh, hey, you the double tra threat. General How did I know we were going to hear that today? <laughs> That's right. So look, I do mine a little differently, just to let you guys know. Right? So when I say differently, this is what I do. When I'm making my gravy, come on, man, we low. I mean, how, how low do I need to go? I like to put a little color on it, just like I'm making a, just like we making a what? Talk to me. We put the color on our flour when we making our roux. What will we, will you may, uh, be making? Storm Chaser Joseph said, "Yeah, I don't do that either. No animals in the kitchen." Yeah, I'm glad somebody said something so you can get off my neck. You keep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now you believe me? You want my dog running around here so I lose all my flour? They're like, nah. No. Hey, not look. Uh oh. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Glad you ain't got a mic on. <laughs> okay, look. If you're going to cook it uncovered, if you want that perfect skin, you got to come off of it. For me, I don't know how to make it no other kind of way. And then if I was doing that, I'd probably put it in at the end when it's about ready, right? I'd put it in the oven and probably, you know, take the top off of it. You know what I mean? Base it at one last time and I'd probably uh, let it go for about maybe about five to ten minutes, keeping my eye on it. You know what I mean? And then I'd raise that temperature up on there and then I would, hey, this is key. When you got it in the oven, you know what I mean? When you're looking at it, listen, it cooks differently. You might not know that, but you got to take it out and turn it around, put it back. You know what I mean? So you can get that even, that even burn on it. All right. So what the answer to that question was that I asked earlier, look, we making a roux for a gumbo, right? So obviously the longer we do it, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You already know. So I got to really make sure I know what I'm talking about because now I know, know that this place is full of uh, culinary experts. You know what I mean? So I can't, I can't fake it. <laughs> I don't know. Me and my, me and my uh, Roddy, me and him is like, uh, we tough and close. I let him in the house. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. You know what I mean? He comes in the house, but he know not to be in the kitchen. You know, and I can tell you this too. My dog doesn't need table food. You know what I mean? I want him to live forever. I just resist everything as far as uh, letting him eat, you know, the food that we eat. I believe that dog food was made for a dog. It's scientifically engineered for the best for them. Right? So I let them do them, and then I go from there. Travis Grider said, "Dang, didn't even Hey, who asked about that? The thing about playing a game, about playing games. When I was uh, I was on the Xbox playing some Call of Duty. It was a young kid in there. You know what I mean? I, you know, I was he, he wasn't my race. You know what I mean? But or the same race as me. Me and him going. We playing with these cats called Cocky Riders." You know, they out of uh, Los Angeles. I think they got a few uh, uh, chapters throughout. 
right? So what I'm doing now, folks, just to uh, come back to this cooking, I'm just adding a little bit of, you know, stock to it, you know, cooking it down. Look, you can see where I'm at. Look at the color. That's because I put a little color on it, you know, by itself. But I like to just blend it in like this. I like when it thickens up, then I'm finna hit it because we finna make that gravy. We almost there. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of cooking the turkey upside down so the white meat gets juicy? No, I have not. Oh, boy, they're getting creative out there, though, with it. <laughs> that, that I can say. Whisk is on top. Boom, I got the hot glue whisk. It's ready to go. Sean Jones, love watching your channel slash cooking from Waco, Texas. Waco. Waco, Texas. Jen says, who the dogs out? Hey, you know what, folks? You want to meet my mailman? Come on, man. You're going to get fired after this, but you know you ain't supposed to be on no camp. Come on. Come on, man. I got to let, hey, I got to do this. So everybody want to know why I said I keep seeing something out this way? Here it is right here. Hey, I hate to say I don't remember your name, but what is it? Austin. Austin. Hey, this is my mailman. He hate us. You know what I mean? Because right now we got about 400 books out there that's got to be shipped. So all you guys out there waiting for it, hey, Austin in his name, what, what, what office you in? Arlington. Arlington office. So if you don't, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, thanks, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just until these other ones come in. Okay, so look, I had got that to the color I like you guys. You know what I mean? And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and just make a little bit of this gravy. Seaboard Logging, what's your pod handle? Oh, uh, ex oh, we about to play, huh? So I must have to go, hey, I got to log in tonight then. <laughs> hey, look for Explicit Killer, all one word. X-P-L-I-C-I-T-K-I-L-L-R. Let's get it. Dwayne Parker says, you got a long lost nephew in Texas. Whenever you're ready for me to be a taste tester, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it, fam. Nephew. Let's get it. All right. Now I'm putting some real heat under it. You know what I mean? And uh, we working. Cook this down. Let it thicken up a little bit more. Ms. Watson said, what do you do with the food after you cook it? Uh, a lot of times. Uh, my shit. <laughs> My staff, they, they go ham on it. You know what I mean? Uh, they take it. And uh, just to let you know, they they from a different different culture. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm watching them turn. And, this, this, you know what I mean? I'm watching them turn black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, because I ain't the one that's running the camera right now. She was cooking for my restaurant. I done taught her how to make greens. I done had some greens one time. And I was like, man. Well, she had my greens. She said something missing. I was like, who you, who you talking to? And sure enough, I tried to cheat a little bit. David Herbert, I tell everyone about baby. Love the way you simplify and take the mystery out of cooking. You made me step my cooking game up. Thanks. Have a day without me on your channel. Hey, that, you know what? That's what's up. And, and listen, look how cool it is that we just in here right now just chopping it up. This is what you want. You know, you know, if, if you got one of them newer style homes, your living room is right off of the kitchen, right? Especially if you, uh, well, I was going to say especially if you're single, but it's for everybody, you know, just share it. A lot of times, I guess we condition that the woman is gonna, uh, you know, do the cooking, but man, I can just, you, as you can see, it's fun. You know, have your, have your girl or your man, and have them sit down, you know what I mean, and uh, watch, I wouldn't even watch TV. What I do is I'd probably play a little music. That's why I always got music in my you know, background when I'm cooking, you know what I mean? Just, you just set the ambiance. Y'all can talk, you know, figure some things out and get to know one another again. All behind the food. How much chicken broth did you just add in? Usually, I put like two cups. You know what I mean? So I put it in here. You know, I'll put the, a recipe. Actually, the picture that you guys saw for the thumbnail, that's the gravy that I, I made already. Right? So look, just take that recipe and double it. You guys going to have a lot of people just being extra. They're your family members, so I got to say they're extra now. And then this right here will get you the color all the way. And a little seasoning with it too, though, right? So I like the way this is sticking it up. Are uh, we getting there? I'm gonna do it like this so you can't. You can just see it ain't. It ain't. We ain't ready yet, folks. But you see that steam coming up off of it. Let me put this apron in front of it. Hey, you know what? Speaking of apron, when this is over with, if you guys want to get one of these aprons, you know what I mean. Uh, what do you guys want to give off? Huh? Man, you said that real quick, like you gave it no thought. 
Whoa, let me. I didn't ask you. I just, I got like, hey, they, they, they back here. They bidding on how much of a discount it should be. Hey, you know what? If you guys want to pick up some aprons, you know what I mean? Uh, we only got like a few left. I won't, uh, I'm looking at them now. I tell you what, 20% off. You said it. They didn't hurt it. I can't go back on it. You know, 20% off of it. You know what I mean? And uh, let's see what happened. Now I'm going to take this right here, this little kitchen bouquet. You know what I mean? And just add a couple of, that was a little bit more than a couple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead and get it. Hey, matter of fact, come on in here. Go ahead. You can take it off if you want to. Oh, come on. I'll just put this down here like that. Look at that right there. And the reason I'm going to show it this way, because I want you to see that was the color that we had. Can you, you probably can't see the, the you, you see the brown? But what I want to do is try to see the other color, the light tan. Now you guys can see, look at that right there. That's what dropping them drops in there like that. And then you just want to go ahead and, mm. now tell me, you, I know I ain't pulling them up or nothing. Now I just notice when I pull them, now it's starting to become a little bit more solid and dropping down. Hey, I told you heat is your friend and you got to be low and slow. Everything I do, everything I do is low and slow. We just leave it like that, folks. All right, so. Hey, so Lewis says, are we going to see you cook with your daughter? Yeah, for sure. You know what? There's something about being in front of this camera that everybody don't really, everybody not, they act like they run in the streets and they don't want nobody to see them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna get them on here. Oh, come on. Here you go. Just added you as their friend. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, I'm logging on tonight. If I'm not, uh, it might be late tonight because I got to drive to Vegas. You know what I mean? But I'm going to go ahead and get on, you know what I mean? And uh, look you up, see what you look like. You know, I mean, uh, see what your game skill look like. And we go from there. Hey, you got that new, that, that new Modern Warfare? All right. Check it out, folks. Melissa Jones, I made your college greens for an office Thanksgiving party. Best greens ever. Hey, you know, uh, I'm going to say congratulations to you. You know what I mean? Uh, if everybody thought they were the best greens, like yourself, then, you know, congratulations on, on you know, providing something that's nice. Right? Me, right off the back, I'm going to give it a pitch without even talking about, not even tasting it. So, um, Jason Johnson, Chef, Domshot. What's the worst food to cook but make <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I like that. Hey, you know what? God damn, I like that. I got the answer for you too, Chief. So that was a dude, right? <laughs> so I got to answer it this way. Anything fried. Because it goes pop, 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 pop. You got it? Yeah, what? Ramsey who? <laughs> okay, so we'll just do it like this. Just notice how now we go in. I can cook them down a little bit further. You know what I mean? But when I let it cool, it's going to thicken up also. So what I'm going to do right now is, what do I preach on my channel? It's all about what? Taste as you go. Now, we done went a long way, so we done gone. We deep in. Right? Oh, I know it's right. I can smell it. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say it like this, folks. If you want to level this up, if you want to level this up, right, you want to get you some chicken, you know, if somebody can already cooked some chicken, just go in there and take it. Cut that down and shred it all the way down and then add that to that. Or you can add some turkey to it, but I like to do the chicken. We, we're doing the chicken thing. Hey, this is my gravy. I'm about to hit it again. No, I'm just <laughs> Hey, but you know what? That's going on when y'all go out and eat. Don't trip. Just know that the chef them came by and like, <laughs> he's like, hey, I need more. <laughs> then he come back with that same finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Daughter of the Most High says hello from Haiti. Haiti. From Haiti. Haiti. Sorry. Haiti. Haiti. That might be a Haitian. Hey, man, look at the reach, folks. You know, uh, hey, just thank you for everybody getting in here. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, we spending a little Thanksgiving together. I'm going to be tied up. I promise my wifey that I won't. It ain't going to be about YouTube or this business venture or, hey, it's not about that. Hey, and another thing I got to tell her, I won't even talk about my race car. You know what I mean? So, hey, with that being said, you know what I mean? Uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, it means a lot. This was like super cool. 
I'm finna pour this in here. And I want to say this too. You can see it don't look thick to you guys right now. You know, it ain't on that spoon. You you want it to be a little bit like this because after it cools, you put it out on your table and all of that. You know what I mean? Uh, this is what make them come and they make them come and do what they do. You know what I mean? Almost time to key up the music. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told y'all we need to have the music at the ready. Oh, she got it. Hey, hold up, Chief. Hey, hey, here you go. Per your request. <laughs> oh, you ain't got it? Oh, man, you just you just had me out there with all my money out there showing everybody about to get me knocked over the head. Huh? You like, hey, you all talk with no product. <laughs> Meanwhile, my gravy getting thick. No, no, I don't have it. Okay. Anyway, we all know what it is mentally. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and let her. Huh? <laughs> Oh, well, come on. Give me some bars. Y'all hum it. I'll do it. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right. Come on in. <laughs> come on in over here. Hey, if you guys don't believe me, I don't know if you're picking up the sound, but look, he's still taking books out. We just put out like 400 and something. Y'all don't know that. I won't be on the road till late tonight because check this out. We got to go. We got to steal ship. Hey, listen, I want to say, well, listen, I have a. Uh, the best problems in the world right now. I just want to thank everybody that got the book. If you guys uh, look underneath this video or any video that I do, it's probably like one, right, one of the number one little thumbnails under there in the shop. Listen, it's co-authored by myself and uh, Mr. Make It Happen. Look, we got 90 recipes, right? I think it's over 90 recipes inside of that. And uh, I, we don't know what to say, but just thank you. That comes from the, from the bottom of our heart. Hey, and check this out. This gravy here that I just made is in the cookbook too. You know, if you want to get something, you want to leave it out on your table. It's something that you can be proud of. It was our first uh, hardback, co-authored, table book, cookbook. With that being said, let's get in there and make this happen. <laughs> and that there, folks, I'm going to put this here. Put that there, you know what I mean? And uh, I'd probably have two of these out for everybody. You know what I mean? You got to make three because if you're anything like my family, you know, you had the grown up table, right? And they're going to eat two of these, right? And then you got that kid's table. You know what I mean? Hey, tell you a uh, true story. About 10 years old when my grandfather brought me to the table with the grown ups. You know what I mean? He told everybody move over. You know, everybody was looking around. He came and got me right before we started saying our grace. He said, AB, you in here with me. Hey. That's what it's all about. I hope you guys do the same thing with your family and your kids. You know what I mean? Uh, but you start them off at that table. That way, when you bring them up to the uh, grown-ups table, it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, this is it. I'm not going to try to, uh, you know, string this on. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, Hey, so, man, I promised my wife I wasn't going to do nothing about with no YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now I got to hear like this, though. I know you're listening, baby. You heard it. They in Vegas. They in Vegas all the time. Hey, uh, check it out. I'll get you. I'll, I'll talk to you, too, afterwards. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll send something through uh, the DM. I know how to find you. You know what I mean? If we can make it happen, let's do it. But you guys are more than welcome, man. This is just that I promise I'm not going to talk food. I'm just going to enjoy, you know, my wifey and, you know, and go from there. But, uh, hey, that's a great idea. Hey, and I'm set up out there, too. Hey, so with that being said, you guys see it, mashed potatoes. I still got this hard brick of, uh, <laughs> of butter telling me that I ran my mouth too long. I had to get it over here. You know what I mean? And, uh, oh, my goodness. I really want to pour that on there, but you guys got to just. You know what I mean? I'm going to put this in some Tupperware, and we're going to take that home if if these two behind the camera let me. This might be going to their house. So, anyway, these are things that you can make, you know, ahead of time. My, this I would probably make tomorrow, but it, your uh, gravy, you should have made that a week ago. That way, that's already done. Since you didn't, here it is right here. Make it now. Hey, with that being said, look, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Those of you guys out there in them other, other countries, uh, hey, just, hey, God bless everybody. You know, uh, I'm super flattered. Thank you. Don't want to prolong it. I got to get ready for this uh, podcast. And if you've been following me for a minute, you know how I end all my videos, right? I usually take a bite wipe my mouth, you know, do all of that. You know what I mean? You say what I'm going to say, and then I always say this, right? I'm out. Peace.